Israeli soldiers uncover prison cells located in an underground network of Hamas tunnels in Kenyanis, where they believe Israeli hostages were kept in dire conditions. IDF soldiers say they found the entrance of the tunnel in the heart of civilian infrastructure, in the home of a Hamas terrorist. Israeli soldiers advanced on the tunnel shaft, killing a number of Hamas militants. They had to disengage explosives on the secured doors before entering the tunnel, which they say is 830 meters long and 20 meters deep. When the soldiers got inside, they say they found prison cells where at least 20 hostages were held at one point. They found toilets and a mattress in the cells, along with no daylight, just dense air and humidity, noting it's difficult to breathe. The IDF says they won't stop fighting until they bring all the hostages home. Hamas wages psychological warfare to terrorize and torment the hostages, their families, and the world. Survivors of Hamas brutality have spoken out about conditions they experienced in the tunnels. Several former hostages testified in front of Israel's parliament Tuesday, saying Hamas is sexually assaulting and torturing Israeli women being held in captivity on a daily basis, according to the Times of Israel. One survivor said the terrorists bring inappropriate clothes, clothes for dolls, and turn the girls into their dolls. Dolls on a string with which you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. Another survivor noted that some of the female hostages were no longer getting their periods, a sign that some could have been impregnated by Hamas terrorists. All of it, the IDF says, is evidence that Hamas has committed international war crimes. Israel estimates Hamas still has 130 hostages. However, it's unknown how many are still alive. And now Israel is proposing a two-month ceasefire in Gaza to allow for the release of all the hostages. Israeli officials are discussing possible provisions of an agreement with Hamas through Qatari and Egyptian mediators, according to Axios. And U.S. officials are on board with a pause. That would give us the opportunity to get hostages out and get more aid in. Um, but we would absolutely support a humanitarian pause of, of a longer length than the, the week that we were able to accomplish. Absolutely, we would. Israel's proposal is the longest ceasefire Israel has proposed since the start of the war, but does not include stipulations to end hostilities. And so far, both Israel and Hamas have rejected a two-state solution. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said a Palestinian state is an existential danger to his country. And Hamas leader Khalid Mashal says he rejects the notion of creating a Palestinian state because he refuses to recognize the legitimacy of Israel. And he believes October 7th revived the dream to free Palestine from the river to the sea. U.S. and EU officials are both pushing for a two-state solution.